guys, it's Savannah here again, back with another deck reveal and review. This deck right here is the Fathom deck from Illusionist.com, so let's get right on in to the review. So if you take a look at the actual box itself, um, it has kind of a tealy and it has blacks and grays mixed into it, and it definitely gives off a pretty good water feel, so you can kind of have a little bit of foreshadowing before you even open the deck, uh, kind of what it's going to be about in its overall theme. On the front, it says Fathom, with this kind of like triangle, this little rain droplets elongated or something inside this little triangle, with kind of like an Iron Man glow in the middle. It's kind of, it's definitely interesting. And you kind of get like a little like metal feel around the actual box itself, and with these gray elements on the side right here. And you can kind of see some indentation on the box, even though there's no embossing or anything so you can't feel that you just kind of see that overall dirty and kind of grimy look to the deck on the side it doesn't say anything and on this side it doesn't say anything either on the bottom it has an illusionist logo and then some copyright information and then you get to the back which is a glimpse of the back design which we'll get more into once we get inside the deck and as you see there is no seal on this deck and on the top it says fathom and as you open the actual flap, the design continues, but there's no embossing, so you can't feel that design, you can just see it. And again, it continues onto the flaps as well. So as we get inside the deck, we'll check out the actual back design. This back design is definitely really interesting. There's a lot of water elements, which this is whole deck is based off of water and water elements, etc. And you can definitely tell through the back design, but it's almost cartoony-like, this back design is, and I don't really know how well I like it compared to other illusionist decks they have out there. It has a lot of curves and rounded edges and 3D things, and it just definitely feels like something illusionist has never made, which is very true, but at the same time, almost cartoony, and it kind of takes a little Little bit of the seriousness away from the actual deck. And in the middle right there, you can see that little triangle that's on the front of the box as well. And looking at this actual back design and seeing like how white it is compared to like the grimy look of the box, I definitely wish they would have more incorporated some of this color actually into the back design because it definitely would have looked a lot better because this version of the back design and this version of the back design definitely have some different contrasting and it definitely would have brought out the deck a little bit more if it had a little bit more of this type of coloring and shading. So as we continue we'll check out the jokers and I actually quite like these jokers although they are cartoonish. They're basically just little octopi, octopus and I just think these are really cool because I just, octopus are very interesting creatures and in the corner the octopus is actually holding the J to the Joker right there and I think that looks really cool. This is one of the features I really like about this deck are the Jokers. Even though they are cartoonish, I quite just enjoy the actual octopus and I think they were uh, designed very well, the Jokers themselves. So we'll check out, we have a promo card for Illusionist right there and then we have a double backer right there. So next we'll check out the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Spades definitely goes with the rest of the deck. But as I said before, it kind of doesn't bring in that grimy feel that the box has, like the back design itself. It's a lot of curvy and 3D shapes, which look cool in their own right, but it seems cartoonish. And I don't really know. The design all fits together, and the design looks good, and the colors and everything. But I just don't know how much I personally like the deck. You see there's like two mermaids in the inside of the spade, and that definitely looks really cool. And at the bottom it says... Them. As we continue, we'll check out the King, the Queen, and the Jack of Spades. Now, basically, this is a twist on a kind of standard court card. It just kind of has bubbles all in it, and it definitely it goes with the overall theme of the deck, like with the colors and everything, but I just really don't like the way these look. They just kind of look unfinished and kind of just pieced together. They go with the deck design and everything in their own right, as I said before. It just doesn't seem like a very finished deck. There was, there's a lot of elements. They could have kept everything looking the same, the same overall design, but they could have added some of the expectations that the actual like deck box gave and actually into the cards themselves. As we look through the deck, you'll see that it is 100% custom. The font, the uh, cards themselves, they kind of have a fade 
like into a different color kind of on them and like fading from black to white and on each of the number cards they have a little special symbol that has something different on it just like so and then it's and it's in a different spot on all the different number cards and that's a really cool element but there's just a lot of things that could have been like little tiny things the design everything could have been the same but there's little tiny elements of the expectations the box gave and could have been actually put into the deck itself. I like the way this deck handles. It handles okay for a couple of hours, but then it starts to clump, and it, it'll keep clumping even after some put down because I haven't even used this deck today and it's already clumping and I mean that's not horrible but it's not a good thing either. I like the stock on this deck. It's really nice though. It works well with the finish even though the finish does clump after some use. So this overall deck I would have to give a 3 out of 5. I think uh, the Jokers are definitely a plus for this deck, however the deck box gave a lot of expectations that the deck back and the actual cards on the inside definitely didn't live up to. There could have been just little tiny things, as I said before, um, done to the deck that could have made it a lot better and looked more finish and maybe not so cartoonish. The stock of this deck I really like. It's thick, it works well with the finish, it doesn't feel flimsy, it doesn't break down easily even with pharaohs and continuous use, even if the finish and the handling itself kind of is clumping. So the stock of this deck I would have to give a 4.5 out of 5. The look of this deck I just particularly it doesn't really look finished it looks cartoonish and the deck box as I said so many times before gave a lot of expectations that the cards the back design the inside didn't really lead up to I think honestly the biggest plus out of this deck are the jokers and I think that's the best looking thing on this deck in general but everything else just didn't really live up to the standards that I mean it really could have because if it had looked more like this it still would have maybe looked cartoonish, but it definitely would have brought out the expectations and kind of the foreshadowing the overall box gave. So the look of this deck, I would have to give a 2 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck is, um, alright. It does start to clump out of a f after a few hours, and it clumps even after you've put it away, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. The deck handles for a couple hours, and it starts to clump, and, uh... Then after that, it may clump out of the box as mine did today. I have not even used this deck today yet. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a 3 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my Illusionist Fathom deck reveal and review. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like down there. And if you liked this review and maybe want to check out some more of mine, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified when my next review or video is up. All my links to check me out are down below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff is down there and I definitely recommend clicking see more and opening that and reading it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love each and every single one of your faces and look forward to more deck reviews coming your way real soon. So thank you guys again so much for watching.